Hello everyone, this is Bobby from Shiny3D. In the last episode, we have used Inscan Pro HD to get the data of human face. So today, I'm going to scan the human body and here with Einstar. Then use Mesh Mixer software to align the data. Einstar is a portable invisible infrared light source scanner integrated with non-rigid algorithms to allow slight movement during scanning and hair data quality improvement to better capture the hair data. First, create a new project group to enter the scan interface. Choose portrait scan mode. Set the features alignment mode. One millimeter resolution is recommended for scanning human-sized object. And turn off the texture scan. In the scanning interface, turn on data quality indicator. It will guide you to get a better data quality. Green indicates enough points captured, while red means lacking of points and turn on the hair mode button. It will enhance the data capture ability when scanning here in black or dark color. Press the start button and adjust the distance and the brightness in the preview. Press the start button again to start scanning. During scanning, keep scanner cameras looking straight at the scanning area. We don't need to care too much about the scanning on the face part since the part will be overlapped by the data scanned by Inscan Pro HD in Mesh Mixer. After the scanning is finished, delete the redundant data. Click Optimize and Generate Point Clouds. Choose Watertight Model on the Mesh Settings. The software will close all the holes according to the captured data. Apply your settings. Click Confirm if the data quality is good for you.
Now save your scan in STL format. Now we have both STL files of face and human body. Let's combine them in Mesh Mixer software. Open Mesh Mixer and import both face and body data files. Firstly, maneuver the pieces to put them closer for the convenience of subsequent operations. Click on the mesh or in the object browser to make sure you have selected on the right object that you want to manipulate. Click Edit Transform Tool, where here we are able to easily move the object in increments in X, Y, or Z axis directions, as well as rotate the object as we desired. Then we are going to align the two meshes by creating pivot on each module. Select the model where you need to place the pivot. Go to Edit and Create a Pivot. Create a surface point with link to target enabled. We just put the pivot on top of the nose, click Drop Pivot, and click Down to finish. Drop another pivot on the same position on another model. We can find our pivots in Object Browser by clicking Hide or Show Pivots button. To align the models, just drag one pivot to another, and the two pivots will be lined up. Flip the piece and accept. Now we have finished the initial alignment. To make the alignment more perfect, we need to use Align to Target command. Magnet the body scan data in Object Browser. The model will be set as a target and turn transparent. Click on the face part and go to Select. Here we will paint on areas with obvious geometric features like eyes, nose, and mouse. Go to Edit to align to target. It's going to move the area selection to the target object. Now it is a bit more aligned, and you can turn on more iterations and a lower tolerance to make it better. To improve, and it has gone more. Unmagnet the target, and we can see there are still some parts exceed the surface. To eliminate them, we have a lot of methods but here we just need to extrude to make them behind the surface. Get the exceed parts selected by painting on them. Choose Edit, Extrude. Drag the offset slider until the selected area cannot be seen. Accept the edit. Now we can make further optimization to make the model look more natural. Use Scop tool to make some optimization on the transitions. Shrink smooth the boundaries. Flatten the section that cannot be well aligned to the surface. Now it's time to combine them into one mesh. Press Shift on the keyboard and select both of the meshes in the Object Browser. Click Combine on the Edit. Now we have got the combined object as a full human body. The face detail of the combined model is much better than that scanned only by Einstein. 
Now you are free to export the save your model as a STL file or other format you need. Thanks for watching. If you like us, remember to share our videos and subscribe our channel.